Hey guys, how are you? So somebody sent me an email, a developer, and he was dealing with a bureaucracy in his company. So he is working for a larger organization and he was frustrated because of a lot of bureaucratic nonsense, red tape, if you will, in terms of how the development process was handled in the company. So there's a bunch of libraries in there that were black box coding libraries where he didn't have access to them, a lot of gatekeepers, not too much flexibility in terms of what he could do because of all these protocols and layers of bureaucracy that were put in place in the organization. So this is something that we're well aware of in terms of just normal corporate structure. But in larger organizations, you see that in the software development structure as well. You will see bureaucratic processes in place where you can install certain software on your laptop, where you can't uh, access certain uh, parts of the code base or certain, uh, certain applications, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This to a certain extent is necessary to for security purposes and to make sure that uh, nobody makes a big mistake, but it can quickly get out of control where it becomes extremely frustrating for developers because their hands are tied by these bureaucratic processes. It's to be expected. So that's the Faustian bargain that you make when you go work for large corporations. You can hide in that infrastructure, if you will, where you are shielded to a certain extent from the realities of the marketplace, unless something really bad happens. So what does that mean? That means as the corporation gets bigger and bigger and bigger, people working in that corporation are often detached from the bottom line business processes. So whether the businesses go up or down, as long as nothing huge happens, they're pretty safe with the exception of people in sales, perhaps, or marketing, where, you know, their results are directly seen, you know, sales. That's why top salespeople in large corporations make a lot of money, because corporations live or, buy, live or die by sales. Anyhow, so the Faustian bargain is when you go work for a corporation, you have that security, that perceived stability in the business, but you have to deal with all the bureaucratic red tape, not only in the company structure, but also even in the way the code is structured and the way the coding and development is handled. In terms of that safety, by the way, there's one exception. When you have major issues occur, like now, you're seeing some big players like Meta and Google and others are laying off people, Amazon, because there's a perception of a big, big recession, well, of a recession hitting. Now, the thing is, with large corporations, especially publicly traded corporations, they're very concerned about their uh, perceived value because of the stock market. And because of that concern about the valuation of their company and their company stock, they will maneuver to keep a perception of value uh, in the business. So that's why you see Meta's laying off a lot of people, Amazon's laying off a lot of people. They're very concerned about their bottom line, what their quarterly reports are, uh, so that they reflect well in the stock price. Quarterly reports is every three months, right? The quarter of the year. All right, I hope that helps. So that's the Faustian deal you have to deal with. If you want to go work for a large corporation, you have to understand that you're going to have to work within that culture. You're going to have to work with a bureaucracy. And that bureaucracy oftentimes extends into the uh, software development processes. If, on the other hand, you go work for a very small corporation, or you freelance, then you're free of that bureaucracy, but you got your boots on the ground there, so you will feel the, um, the impacts of the success, the success or failure of the business much more quickly. So you have to decide what you prefer. It's a question of preference, by the way. It's a question of preference. Some people survive in large corporations. Some people exist. Some people die slowly. And uh, on the other hand, in the freelance world or in the entrepreneur world, that's, that's, that's brutal in another sense where uh, you got to produce. And if you don't produce, you're gone, you cut. It's very quick. Uh, but you have a lot of freedom, well, the ultimate freedom, relatively speaking. I hope that helps. Bye-bye.